Hi guys, welcome to my channel. First time viewers, always welcome. In this video, I'll be discussing how to make your Glock mags modern. From this old second gen, that's so boring. You know, it seems like it takes a little while for progress to catch up. And then you have your, your third gen, third and fourth gen type mag. And then you have your fifth gen mag. Well, look at that. Got an orange follower. Now that's pretty cool. Come on, brother. There we go. You don't want to be wearing gloves when you handle this. This is a second gen follower. It's got legs on it. And it hooks right in. All right, so I'm gonna go over here, pull that guy out. Like that. Yeah, they don't make these anymore. Get our lovely fifth gen. These guys snap in like that. They snap down in there like that. You might notice how it's kinky like that. Goes off to the side, does this little boogie shape here. It's because this magazine was loaded at one time. And uh, that's what happens to springs. So, you know, for you guys out there that think that, like, the cycle is what kills a mag, you're sadly, terribly mistaken. And that's kind of what happens right there. When you load your magazines up when they're brand new, this is what happens. And when you forget about them because a spring takes a set. That's why when you start out, you want to do, like, maybe a half load for the first few months and add more until that spring gets used to being loaded you know before you decide to load them up all the way otherwise you'll get something a little bit like this but glock springs are kind of like you know they do stuff like that so they're kind of like all right you know to go but uh oh i don't think this thing's gonna work on a second gen look at that and there goes my weekend happiness. So we know this does not work on the second gen. So we're going to go to the third gen. There we go. Up there. Got that guy out. All right, let's see what this looks like. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we got something here. Let me put that guy in there. There it is. Look at that. That is awesome. So awesome. And the way these guys go together, you just push this down here. And you put that cap on there. Make sure you push here, because if you push here, you're gonna cut yourself. Like that. Whoops. See, you can, you can tell that, once again, this spring is contorted as well. And that comes from loading your magazines um, and overstressing them. It will happen in time regardless, but um, yeah, it's no big deal. Not unless it's, the follower doesn't go all the way up and down. 
Oh, you little rascal. Ah, oh, giving me a hard time. Probably should clean this. This is an incredibly filthy mag. There we go. You want to push her down. And when you slide the cover around like that, you slide it in there, it'll lock in there. And then uh, you'll be good to go. But um, I got to clean these guys out because uh, <laughs> I'm not too happy with that guy. But if your follower you know, is, is working. It goes, you load it up and then you just, and the follower makes it all the way up to the top and there's no hang ups, you're good to go. But the old follower, you could tell it was attached to the mag spring. And uh, that's kind of a more reliable way of doing it versus just snapping the follower in there. But that's how they do them now. Seem like they kind of cheap that on their quality but hey you know orange orange you glad that you get an orange follower i am it'll tell that round count a lot easier awesome but i wanted to show you guys also the uh the difference between a authentic glock magazine and uh like <clears throat> the ones that i changed the followers out of uh these guys here, these are like a Korean knockoff, but uh, they work pretty good. You can tell because there's no name on the base plate. There's no name back here. And on the follower here, this is a Glock follower. You know it is because it's got a nine on there. So the Korean ones, you know this is a Korean made follower because there's no nine right there hmm? nine right there so you know this is a real glock follower you know this is a real a glock uh, mag two real glock uh, base plate so that's how you tell but the korean ones are just just as okay as the uh, the Glock mags, you know, I, I haven't ever had a problem with them. So you might have caught that, but um, let's see what the magazine looks like in this thing, being that this is a duty mag. So this is a Glock mag. And we got the booby spring here. Hmm. Looks like lock springs are a lot better. Yeah, they're kind of exactly the same. Except for the nine. Wait, hold on. Clock is a little bit fatter on the back side. Yeah. This is the clock. But you can tell. The difference. Can you tell how many rounds is in this uh, this mag here? Took three out. It's gotta be 12 in here. This one here, you can tell right off the bat, there's 14. Gotta love that orange. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video.